Hey guys, so today I want to talk about something very important and it has to do with abuse and I wanted to make this kind of clear. A lot of people don't understand why abusers keep bringing up their trauma but they don't understand how important it is. People, don't, people who have not been abused don't realize how much abuse affects your everyday life. It really does affect everything. Now, I, I made a video kind of like this um, a few months back when I was sitting in the dark and talking. But I wanted to come back to it again because I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you guys for following my channel and following my story and giving me all this positivity. But I wanted to let you guys know that the reason why I keep quote unquote rehashing this is because it literally affects almost every aspect of my life. There's a lot of ways in which it affects me and I can't fully um, pinpoint every point but just know that it affects everything that I deal with regardless of if it's my marriage or how I act how I treat my kids everything it affects how I sleep how I talk how I move around in everyday life how I interact with people how I carry out relationships it literally affects everything I'm not gonna sit here and lie and you know talk about how everything's all good and hunky dory it's not always good and hunky dory you know i mean i'm at a good point right now but in all reality like i said abuse affects everything the reason why it's good to talk about it the reason why it's good to share these types of videos is because it literally affects everything i mean i don't know how much i can stress that i mean literally i could have a dream that reminds me of something I went through. I could have a flashback. I could have, you know, a nightmare. I don't have nightmares as often as I used to, however, but, you know, it could still happen. I could have a thought. I could see something. Anything will remind me of um, something I've been through. I have constant reminders, y'all. You gotta remember, I've been through this for five years. Now, it's been a very long time since the actual events happened, but Again, it's still sometimes as if it's fresh in my mind. And that may be because I, I keep bringing it up. But again, how could I not bring it up? I mean, that's just what happens with trauma. Especially when you're poor. It definitely happens when you don't have the most money in the world and you're struggling because all you can think about is your trauma. All you can think about is how things are bad, you know? And it's not really anyone's fault except for the person who harmed you. It's not your spouse's fault. It's not necessarily your fault. That's just how you cope. However you cope is how you cope. These videos are how I cope. Since I am not able to go to a therapist, if you guys have seen my last video on that, I explained all that. So again, um, it's just, it just comes up a lot. Hell, this shit comes up when I look at my kids sometimes. Not because, you know, I'm abusing them or anything. No, I'm not carrying on that train. But, at the same time, certain ways on how I grew up are portrayed onto my kids, you know, in negative ways. And I know this. I see this, you know. I'm not stupid. I see all of these things. I'm aware of it. Sometimes when I'm not aware of it, my husband will let me be aware of it. So, you know, I can try to fix it. You know, I do my best to not throw my anger onto my kids. I try my best not to, but you know, it happens. Shit happens. We've been through a lot after the abuse. The aftermath sometimes was like far worse than the abuse itself in a way. I mean, like I said, I haven't fully gotten that out, but I will. I will soon. I